People have journals and like I have sketchbooks. Sometimes those pieces can work as like points in time. And it's like, oh, I was, <laughs> I was not feeling good in that moment. Or I was, I was really happy and like my art reflects that. I've lived here since 2017 after I had moved back from Chicago, but I've kind of like lived in a lot of different places. I lived in Utah, Vegas, and then moving in high school and then having to be by myself most of the time. Like I really like dove into my art because I was like all I could focus on and like felt like wouldn't leave me, you know? It was like my one thing. It's become less and less my own, you know, because I share it with so many people now. It's not just for me anymore. So this mural is mostly just like oranges and like warm purples, like going into like a cooler, like purple, bluish, like violet color, which is really hard with spray paint because you're literally just limited to the colors, like, you know, that they sell. So it's a lot of blending, trying to make those like go into each other nicely. And that's what I'm doing right now, trying to figure it out. As you can see, it's kind of messy, but it'll look better as I go. Sound like Chewbacca. <laughs> I would describe my art as very colorful and whimsical and dreamlike. I usually draw a lot of women showing something that's like feels like delicate but also like strong at the same time. So when I first started drawing, I started drawing fairies. And so I really wanted to bring that into this piece was, you know, the, the fairies and like the, the book being out there because like, you know, there's so much imagination and, and reading. Because uh, there, there's going to be a B on the book, so it's kind of like opening up the book into bright side and coming into the studio and stuff. So I really wanted that to like kind of the essence of, of magic and imagination. And then this like whole like kind of meadow feel to it and just that dreamlike essence. And it just kind of like came from like this memory I had as a kid of just being obsessed with fairies and being inspired by that magic.